Welcome! I'm the Word Nerd, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to study the Bible by in depth verse mapping using my free PDF guide that you can download and print out or use it digitally. Link is in the description, it's on my website for free, so you can check that out. We're going to be uh, using this, and I'm going to show you in this video how to gather background information. So, like who the author is, when was it written, who was it written to, stuff like that. So the first steps of studying the Bible is choose a verse and pray, observation, interpretation, and application. So choose a verse. I have already chosen Romans 12 verses 1 and 2. So that's the verses we will be verse mapping. This will be a series of video. Each step um, is going to be divided into its own video. I use the KJV for um, studying, but I first read Romans in the King James, and then I also read Romans in the NLT, which are my two favorite uh, translations, before I started to actually dig deep and do this in-depth verse mapping. I just want to preference that. Make sure you read in context, read the entire book, make notes, whatever. So we picked a verse, now let's pray. Father, guide us and teach us the truth. Give us understanding and let us be alert to your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So the next step is observation. The steps of observation is gather background information, get the context, check out different Bible translations, uh, do keyword studies, find cross-references, and r then write down any thoughts or truths that come from the scripture. So in this video, like I said, we're going to be gathering background information in depth so yeah that's who is the author where was it written if knowable who are the recipients so that's who was the book written to where are they located try to have a map um, is there any cultural background that you can learn what is the literary style and when was it written so that's what we're going to be looking at and finding out so I'm going to use this dot grid journal spiral notebook that I got from Walmart and it was $2. So this is the background information. So I'm just going to do this on a separate piece of paper. If you continue to watch the videos, you'll understand. I'm just going to put Romans at the top because you only have to do the background information once for an entire book. So you can verse map many different verses, but the background information doesn't change. It only changes from book to book. So I'm just writing Romans at the top and making it pretty um, because I like hand lettering. <laughs> I'm also going to be using this these pinning gear highlighters I bought from Walmart and some pens so I'm just labeling background information so I know what this is so uh, the first thing that we're going to do is look at the book itself the best way to get um, the background information is to read the book now obviously not all of uh, background information can you get through you know the book but you can do a lot so looking at Romans who is the author you can look actually very quickly um, it is in the first verse in the first chapter um, who the author is and it is Paul so we're gonna just write down author write down Paul and where we found that at and then we're going to highlight it so of course you know you can also do some googling and different things like that um, but for the most part um, the best way to get that information is most of the time especially with the New Testament is um, we're just reading the book itself so where was it written um, that's not always um, 
been able to find that information in the text itself. Um, however, it is in chapter 16, um, verse 1. But we're going to skip that and go to who are the recipients. So who is this written to? And this is located further down um, in verses 7 in chapter 1. It says believers in Rome. So most of it is just believers in general. So believers in Jesus, Christians, right? Um, so that's what it is. Now, the majority of these are Gentiles. And you can see that in verse 13 in chapter 1, that the majority are Gentiles. However... Um, some of the chapters in Romans is actually to the Jews. Um, so there are some Jews. And when we get into um, reading kind of more about the cultural background, you can kind of see that as well. So the majority is Gentiles and some of them are Jews. This is why it's so important to read the entire book because you will see this um, as you're reading. And I always like to kind of put references um, so, you know, chapter 1, verse 7, chapter 1, verse 13, things like that. So, the next thing is the literary style. So, the literary style, you, if you have a basic understanding, which I'm assuming, watching this video, you have some kind of basic understanding of literary styles, or at least biblical literary styles. And this is an epistle, which is in a letter, and this is stated in the Bible, at least my Bible <laughs> um, and also in general you can as reading the book you can just tell it's from Paul to these people and then verse uh, chapter 16 is basically Paul just um, giving greetings to every Christian or most Christians um, that was in Rome so I'm gonna write down um, location, when was it written, and where was it written from. So these things, like I said, it's not always the case that you're going to know where it was written from. And even in, you know, studying in depth, uh, you might not find where was it written. It might be unknown. However, this one you can tell, um, and I figure it out <laughs> actually while making this, um, I figure it out. So the next thing that I do with gathering the background information is I use my Bible study resources to find the other information and the information that I've already found um, in that. So this is the Rose Book of Bible Charts, Maps, and Timelines, and they have um, kind of like basic Bible, you know, book things. And so uh, I look at that and I can find the information. So I like to reference what reference I'm using. So Rose Book of Bible. And then I put down what I find in that. So this was, it's saying that Corinthians, or I mean Romans, was written in 57 AD and he wrote from Corinth. And further in this, I look to see if there is any cultural background or uh, information and in this resource. And I did find some and I read every part that I could about Rome and Romans in every resource that I have and I'm going to show you that. But in this, I did find that. And then I also found, since it's maps, <laughs> I also found a really good map to show me where, where Rome, Italy is. So the location was Rome, which is in Italy. And so I wrote that down for location. And just having a map of the first century, I think is just helpful. It, I think it really helps you to understand um, especially like Paul's journeys and how the Christian faith started out. So my next um, Bible resource is the Big Book of History. Um, it, I think it is, yeah, it's a master's book, the brand or whatever. And it has um, 
the kind of similar to the other one was where it just says you know who wrote it when was it written so i write the big book of history and i write down the paul was the author and it was written in 55 a.d that's the only information this book gives so some resources give more than others um which we'll see in a little bit and then i'm just kind of looking at it and reading it um so again with another resource the holman bible atlas i'm actually going to make a separate video for just this book because i think it's amazing and everybody should have it it's great it's not just atlases although it is based mostly on maps but it gives a lot of history as well and so i read a lot about roman and rome and um how it came to be and things so this i got a lot of the background or cultural information i didn't write notes about the background or cultural information although that is something you can do um i did read all of this though um while i was studying um and i think part of really studying in depth is not writing notes about everything but just reading and kind of having a better understanding about the first century in rome and how you know it kind of was um so i use that resource the next resource that i have is this chronological guide to the bible this doesn't have a ton of stuff but it did have some background information about rome and romans and it also um, had information on like what i'm looking for um so i kind of looked it up all in the index of this book um this was made this is made by thomas what is it thomas nelson what is this who publishes this yeah i think it's thomas nelson yeah thomas nelson publishes this book if you're interested i actually bought this book a long time ago even before i was actually a christian which i don't know why i did that but i did i was still interested in the bible but anyway so i, I read a lot of the background information in this like i said i just looked it up in the index part and kind of looked at where rome and romans was mentioned and i read all of it um and then i'm going to of course write it down again um so the information that this book gives is it was written from Corinth in 56 AD at the end of Paul's third missionary journey. Um, so, like, when I study in depth, I don't want just one resource, okay? I want as many resources as I can. And that's kind of why my collection of Bible study resources is growing. <laughs> I appreciate other people's opinion and other people's work, so... So then we're going to continue on to Haley's Bible Handbook. This was actually gifted to me, I think. Um, so thank you um, for that. And this has some information. It was written in the winter of 57 um, to 58 AD. And it was written in Corinth. So I'm just writing that down, making notes and stuff. And there's, like I said, there's... a more information than I'm reading as well. Um, before I recorded this video, I made sure I like marked all my resources so I could flip to it pretty easily. The next resource that I have is this Pictionary Bible Dictionary um, with a topical index. This was this is 1970 something. Um, this was gifted to me, and I really appreciate. And this has a lot of information about um, Rome and Romans and the also the book of Romans and who wrote it and stuff. Um, so I'm really thankful that I was gifted this. Um, so I read all that, of course, and then I write down the information. So this dictionary, the Bible dictionary, says that this was written in 56 to 57 AD and it was written from Corinth. Um, what I was wondering while I was doing this is like all these things are saying that it's from Corinth was written from Corinth But I have no they're not giving many evidences of that and it was bothering me eventually I figured it out Then another resource that I use is the world book encyclopedia P 
published in 1973. I have the entire Cyclopedia set from this year, um, 1973. It was gifted to me, and I so, so appreciate um, the person that did that. They know that I homeschool, and so they gifted it. It was amazing. So in this, I read a whole lot more about Rome, about the Romans, and like so much more information was in this. Um, than any other resource that I had but it also did have a little bit of information from r the epistles and stuff and what I like too is like it also mentions mythology and their like the Romans gods and stuff like that and so I did read about that as well just because you know when you're studying in depth you can chase those what is it called rabbit holes is that what it is that what it is anyway to get a better understanding of you know that cultural so so this this one really just gave me that the epistle was written in 58 AD so besides the uh, cultural and historical uh, things um, I just read all of that I just love this type of in-depth studying it takes a long time to in-depth study so don't worry if this takes a while so then I jump into my study Bibles and um, this is the Henry Morris study Bible that I have and I read the um, introduction um, of the books if that study Bible has it and then uh, I write that down so this is where I realized why all these um, resources was saying it was written in Corinth and it was because in verse 16, I mean, in chapter 16, verse 1, it doesn't say Corinth, but it says a small, I guess it's some kind of small town or something that's right next to Corinth. And I didn't realize it, so I looked in my Holman Bible Atlas, and it was, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's why. And so it like hit a big epiphany, and I was like, oh my gosh. It was, anyway, so I wrote down the information the Henry Morris Study Bible had from Corinth to Jews and Gentiles, written from 56 to 60 AD. So this is this is what I like, is like, you might have a question, why does everyone, you know, keep saying this is from Corinth, written from Corinth um, to the Romans? And, you know, I didn't realize it when I was reading, you know, um, that the servant Phoebe um, in the church that's at, I can't say the word, but it starts with a C in verse 16. So so the next uh, study Bible I have is the Apologetic Study Bible. And this has a bigger introduction, but it says Paul wrote it in 57 AD from Corinth through in his, during his third ministry journey. So I wrote that down. My next study Bible that I checked out is the Life Application KJV Study Bible. And it said Paul writing to Christians in Rome in 57 AD from Corinth. And then um, I have, um, I think, a few more study Bibles, two more study Bibles, but it didn't give any information of the background information. It's mostly, mostly kind of like commentary for the verses. So, but I don't stop there either um because there's always more on the interweb and so i also go to the internet one website i like is a blueletterbible.org has introductions to books and has teachings and stuff as well that i check out but i stopped at the blue letter bible introduction just because i felt like i had enough resources to really kind of gauge when it was written um, and of course there's always more studying that I could do if I wanted a specific date. So the blue letter Bible said 56 ID from Corinth and it was to multiple churches. Um, so in Rome, because there was a lot of house churches. So, um, I wrote when it was written, it was 55 to 60 AD, somewhere in there. I am not like, it doesn't have to be down to one year for me, um, so I just kind of round it. And then written from Corinth because of chapter 16, verse 1. 
So that is in-depth studying background information. I hope that you learned you need multiple resources. Um, mostly you do not have, the have to have the physical ones. Get online and get the free ones. Um, and we'll continue this series as I am able to upload it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. And just remember that studying in depth like this takes time. Don't rush yourself. Follow those little rabbit trails and just, just glean as much as you can and have fun. Um, that's what uh, verse mapping for me is. It's my hobby. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Um, I love learning more stuff about the Bible and God. So I hope this helped and to for you to understand um, more of an in-depth background information kind of thing. But yeah, I'll continue this series as I can and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Remember, God loves you and he's always with you. And God bless. Bye.